All right, now it's time for us to go ahead and create a task list. Our task list, we're going to create tasks. We're going to assign the tasks to individuals. We're going to give them a date, a due date, and we're going to be able to see that task list in a timeline and also on a calendar. So a lot of really cool things. And once more, we go right to site contents. And there, look at that, two new apps. Let's go ahead and add our third one, tasks. Now we have to give our task list a name. And this one is going to be called Office Inventory. Because we saw in that last section we had a list, an inventory list of our furniture, available furniture and whatnot. But it wasn't complete. So we need to assign the task of taking inventory to various people. We're going to have uh, inventory of our furniture, of office equipment, and um, our computers, our IT equipment. And this task list is going to be a great way for us to go ahead and organize that and keep track of it. We're going to be able to see it in a timeline. We're going to be able to see it in a calendar view, and it will help us to manage these tasks. And further on down the line, we're going to be able to see on everybody's individual My Site page, they're going to be able to pull those tasks into that My Site page, and they'll be able to see exactly what tasks have been assigned to them and all the information. So we will create our task list. And yes, I did call it a task list because it is still just a list like the custom list we just created. It just has specific features and properties to it that you would want and expect in a task list. So let's go ahead, let's open up that task list and let's assign our first new task. Now the first task is going to be taking the furniture inventory. And this is someone who is going to have to go and figure out who's got what furniture where. We'll give it a start date. Now I happen to know that this person already started this task. So last Monday. So we'll put it there and we're giving them two weeks. So we'll make it through to the 15th. And who was the person that we gave this task to? Well, in fact, it was, or it's going to be, I should say, Jerry Watts, our administrative assistant. Now, over here, you see we have a section that says show more. Let's click that. And we have a few more options that we can fill out about this task. Now, for one, I happen to know that Jerry is already 50% completed with that task. So we're going to mark that down. We can add a description, an inventory of office furniture, predecessors. Now, we have the ability to list tasks that have to happen before this one can take place. Now this one, we don't have any predecessors, so we're not gonna have anything to add, but we'll see in a future task that we are gonna be able to add those. We can give it a priority, and we have high, low, and normal, and the task not started. Well, this one is in progress. Like I said, Jerry has already started this task. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Save. And there is our first task, Furniture Inventory. Now, you see these little buttons here? That is the menu about this task. Let's click on that. And you see it gives me a little bit more of the information. Six days until it's due. I can open it. I can add it to a timeline. I can create a subtask. If we open it, it simply brings me to this page and it gives me all the information as we've added it. And if I go over here, I can click on Edit Item. Looks familiar, doesn't it? This is almost exactly where we just were, only everything is open for editing now. So we can edit those items. If the item was completed, if the task was done, I could click in the checkbox and it would be marked completed. But it's not completed, so we're going to leave that just like it was. And we're going to add another new task. Now we could add it here, or we can go up here to our ribbon, click on the Tasks tab, and add new item this way. And this one. Is going to be the IT inventory. Somebody's going to need to take inventory of all of our computers, tablets, routers, modems, whatever we have. This one we're going to say it will start next Monday and continue on until the 22nd. And we're going to assign this one to Angelo Haley. And I'm going to open up the show more again, because now I want you to see, there's that predecessor, the furniture inventory. 
And it's not necessary that the furniture inventory be completed before we start this one. So we're not going to add it, but it's there if we need it. Angelo has not started this task, and we're going to leave the priority alone and the task status alone. So that's great. So we'll save that. And now we have task number two. Now let's go ahead and let's add one more. This one is going to be to compile the complete. You know, that's too long. Let's just call it compile inventory. And the start date for this one, let's make this one um, a little bit later. Let's say this one's going to start on April 1st. And it's going to finish April 12th. How about that? And this one is going to be assigned to Bill Altman, our Director of Operations. Now, and if I know Bill, he's going to pass this job off on to somebody else. But let's go ahead and let's click on Show More here. And we'll see our predecessors again. But this time, to compile that complete inventory, both of these are going to have to be done. These predecessor tasks are going to have to be done. So we're going to add those just like you saw. And we'll go ahead to priority on this one. Let's change it to high and we'll click on save. So now there is our task list. Now you saw how I could go ahead and click here and go to my menu here and edit the item that way. But also I can go ahead and click up here to edit the entire list. See how it opens it up that way. And I can go through here and edit each individual thing or open it up this way by double clicking on that there. So it's another way to do the same thing. And it also gives me a blank space here to just add another task if necessary. And when I'm done editing, I can just click on stop and take us back to here. Now, Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this again. I want you to see where it says add to timeline. You see our timeline up here. We can go ahead and click and add that to the timeline. And now it gives me that task in that timeline. And of course, the timeline is kind of silly with just one item in it. So we're going to add all of our items. And we can go ahead and add them this way. Or we can also go ahead and go up to the tasks. Actually, let me select all of the tasks except for this one because that's already added we can go up to tasks and notice here we have add to timeline so i'm going to click there and it added both of those tasks that i had highlighted here that i have selected it to my timeline and if i click on the timeline i have timeline tools another tab contextual tab opens up i can add the start and finish date for the project I can take any of these off, but without the dates, it seems kind of silly to me. I can take off the today marker, the time scale, but I like to have all of that information in here. I can change the date formats. I can even go ahead and change the way the timeline looks. Now, let's select the furniture inventory, and you see I can display it as a callout, which if I hover over it, notice that that opens. Or I can go back, I have to select it, there it is, to displaying it as a bar. And I can remove it from the timeline as well, just like that. Now I can also go ahead and view my tasks in a calendar view. And you'll see right here at the top, big as day, it says calendar. That link, I click on it and see that it takes me down and gives me the calendar view there. So I can view this however I need to, however I want to. And of course, I have calendar options as well, things like alerts, email links, and even being able to tag it and edit. And that's our task list. Pretty cool, very useful. And like I said, later on, we'll see how we can pull these tasks into our own personal MySites, into our news feeds.